Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s statements delve into the heart of leadership suitability, transparency, and the overpowering grip of corporate interests in politics. His words pierce through the veil of governance, spotlighting democratic integrity, or the lack thereof. I want to add that the, a year ago, a little over a year ago when I entered this race, I predicted that President Biden suffered from a degenerative condition that was not going to improve and that it would make it impossible for him to govern effectively. The reaction of the DNC to that obvious condition was to hide it from the American public and to use their power over the Democratic Party nomination process to make sure that nobody would compete with President Biden in a way that would expose his deficiencies. And as a result, we are where we are today, which is in a, a period of crisis. And we have two crises, and they both derive from the same condition. And that condition is the corporate the emergence of the domination of corporate power over American democracy that, that accelerated beginning in 2010 with the Citizens United case that unleashed a tsunami of corporate money into the American political process. And both parties are now captured by that corporate money. And they've lost any kind of authentic connection to the American people or to the populist goals of the republic and of democracy. Kennedy's claims about Joe Biden's degenerative disease question Biden's fitness for office and the Democratic Party's openness. The assertion that the Democratic National Committee, DNC, concealed Biden's condition and manipulated the nomination process underscores a dire need for effective governance and accountability. Such revelations intensify public criticism of political elitism and corruption. They highlight the essential requirement for leaders who are not only capable but also transparent and mentally sound, striking a chord with conservative calls for a more genuine and accountable political system. Kennedy's remarks underscore the themes of authenticity, power, and personal responsibility. His comments about Biden's health issue point to the harsh realities of human limitations and a blatant disregard for justice. There's an urgent call for leaders to be honest, to acknowledge their frailties, and to act responsibly. Kennedy's references to the corporate forces steering American democracy resonate deeply with those who feel alienated and stripped of their individual identity by a system dominated by powerful actors. His call to return to genuine grassroots participation in the democratic process is both emotional and intellectually stirring. By emphasizing Biden's health and the DNC's supposed cover-up, Kennedy ignites public distrust and frustration. He taps into the fear of being misled by those in power and the longing for truth and transparency. Kennedy frames this issue as a corporate governance crisis, appealing to the need to rectify injustices and reclaim democratic values. His narrative has the power to unite those who feel disenfranchised, galvanizing them into political action. Public reactions to Kennedy's remarks will vary, influenced by political leanings and pre-existing beliefs. Critics of Biden will find validation in Kennedy's arguments, while his supporters may view them as politically charged attacks. The idea that corporate power manipulates democracy resonates with populist sentiments across the political spectrum, potentially garnering support from those wary of corporate influence in politics. This framing might also attract independent voters disillusioned with the major parties who are yearning for genuine change.